We all go through many things in our lives, many experiences or obstacles to face to the person we are right now. Let me tell you guys about myself. I am Eddie Lopez, born 1993, October 1st. Growing up, my two parents, love, loving, caring, always being there for me. Being there, raised up with two brothers, older, younger, which is something cute you would want to see, right? You might think about just a happy family, just one of the biggest families ever, I mean, the cutest families. Being raised and just going by age, years passing by, going to school, kindergarten, I remember going there, playing around. I was always one of those kids that I always wanted to like, be Superman, got on top of things, start jumping. I had like, I had like scars in my head, everywhere. Because I was always that kid, always running up next to the floor, running to the floor or next to the, to the walls, hitting myself. But then as I was growing up, I started seeing things, going in San Gabriel Valley, growing up around Latinos, Hispanics majority, just looking in that prostitution, seeing gangsters, seeing um, drugs, um, bums, Seeing all that stuff was something that I kind of all started looking at. I was going to seventh grade, I remember, and I remember I started being into all that. I started wanting to be, I wanted, I was, I was growing up, I wanted to be a, a party kid, a party person. I was seventh grader and I was all into party. I was something that I never got introduced to. I was like, wow, dang, I want to get into all that. Started looking into girls, I started like, I wanted, to, I wanted to just mess around and care. I started being a player, started dressing up, dressed too impressed, see two eyes, starting hitting, hitting up crews, party crews and stuff like that. So I was just one of the things I just remember. That's one of the things I just remember represent. It was talking about symbols, gangs. Um, um, and then after that, growing into that, I was pretty pressure. Because, I mean, first of all, I didn't really know nothing about it, but then I got introduced to it. So then I got peer pressure to it, which was something, but at the end of the day, I guess I liked it. I enjoyed it. After knowing more people and more people, I started getting into that. I started partying every single like weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I remember going with my brothers, going to parties, going for girls. I remember going to parties and just sitting down, looking, making those eye contacts, and be like, "Hey, what's up?" You know, um, <laughs> or or maybe just hooking up, like just one day or something, or trying to do something like that. And then as time passed by, I started drinking, and then little by little, I didn't, I, I didn't know, I started getting into all that. But then something attracted me to. Um, to like cholos out there, the people bald headed fools. So I started seeing that, and it was something that I was into, and I was just thinking like, what? That, that's something that I got admired too, because I was like, damn, it must be badass to be carrying a big old bandana, carrying it around you, carrying with a bike, going around with the bike, and just stopping <laughs> and just going like that. Or, or maybe you see with some old fool, OG dude right here, tatted up right here, and I was just, just bald headed fool, and you're just thinking like, oh, dang. I asked myself, dang, I want to do that. I mean, that's something pretty cool. I mean, I mean, I never got into school. No, school wasn't my thing. I was always thinking to myself, uh, school ain't for me. You know what they say, school ain't for everybody. That's what I believe, which I was not. But then, a little, but then as I got into, more into all that, I started getting into all, all into um, the, part, the crews and started hanging out with them. So I started becoming and claiming one of them. I started to want to be one of them. And I wanted to be one of them as I grew up in high school, in high school I wanted to be one of them and I wanted to do the best thing there ever was, be part of the gang. I wanted to be a part of the gang because I wanted to claim where I was from and what I wanted to do. It was something that I was always dreamed about. I always wanted to get tatted. But growing up right there in the city, like by San Gabriel, it was about brown pride. It was all about brown pride. It was about Latinos, Hispanics. So it was about something like that that I always grew up. So everything I had for myself, I noticed that it was about us, Screw whites, blacks, Asians, everybody else. It was about Latinos, showing that pride, showing up brown pride. I remember again wanting to get tatted right here. I wanted to get tatted right here, but, but before I get this tatted, I had to do something about it. But then I remember growing up and all that, I wanted to do all that because I, I always got into that mentality. If I want to do something like that, okay, yes, but I don't want to be the low ones. I want to be the top dogs. I want to be the best ones out there. I want to be in my house telling people what to do and being the best one. 
But I started hanging out with them. So one of the things I started to do was carrying out drugs. I remember going into high school and stuff. I was hanging out with the homies and stuff. I was just hanging out. I remember visiting them, standing up straight or like looking up and just being up, just waking up for everybody to pass by. Every time some someone looked at me dogging me or something, I was straight up and go at them. I remember getting down at the alley a few times, just showing, claiming something that I, was, that I wanted to do. I remember being there, carrying drugs, helping out my homie, and just being there, oh, you know what, if anything was wrong, I'll go down with it, you know? Um, I, but then after that, I realized that what I was doing was something that I, I which was something that I, I liked, but then at that moment, but later as time passed by, I realized that those people that y'all called my homies, they weren't there for me. I got cracked a few times with some other fools. I remember I got cracked and I got down, and then they weren't there. I got backstabbed. Got, sometimes I got like I got cracked for something that I wasn't even carrying around. I remember all the stuff that happened to me because of the things that happened is something bad. I remember seeing a gun, uh, AK-47. Some guy just came up. He told my brother, "Hey, you know, whenever you have someone something going down, I'm gonna let you know. Just hit me up. I gotta go get him." And then after seeing all that, I started realizing, "Gang, they're my they are my homies. They're not there for me. What is this all about?" This is all full of like nonsense, this is crap. I started to realize that during, during that time, I started thinking about, I started getting like more into depression, into getting into more different person. So then I wanted to be a different person now. After that, I started getting into metal, I started getting into screamo, and, and you should listen to all that music, and you were getting into like, I was all into this madre, destruction, vale madre todo, no? And then I was only into all that. Which I didn't care music like rock or hard metal. That she pumped me up, but made me more like into the serious person, the angry person I was. It made me want to hate everybody. Every time I see someone, I always wanted the pain. I wanted to see the pain from everybody else because the reason why I see that, I enjoy it. Because every time I see that, it makes me laugh. It makes me smile. Every time I see someone suffer, it makes me. It just makes me happy. And it was something that I always wanted to do. I always wanted to be that bad evil person. I always wanted to be that person, I guess, when it's the good guy versus the bad guy. I always wanted to be the bad guy. When it's white against black and black, the black color, because black is the evil one, I guess, because the white ones is supposed to be all nice. But no, then I grew up with this mentality, being isolated from there and thinking about, I wanted to do all that. But then little by little, as the time passed by, I started to realize, I started getting lonely, depression, I started hitting all that, I started getting to drinking a lot. I started to become something else. And then I remember a few times when I going to, in high school, when I was into all that stuff, it, I remember people telling me, you know what, you're not gonna do nothing in life because you're not gonna, you're gonna be just like your father. You're gonna work for minimum wage. You're not gonna do shit. You're gonna be just like them. And then I had hatred to myself. I always had, to, I always thought to myself, you know what, one day, if I ever become, get, whatever what I am, if I ever have like, uh, I'm into gang affiliated, I'm gonna shoot you and I'm gonna kill you and make you beg for your life. I'm gonna make you go on your knees and kiss ass until I uh, kill you. That's what I thought in my mentality back then. It was something that I always wanted to do because I always had hatred to the people that hated against me. I wanted to do revenge. But then as time passes by, I remember the time when I sat down and I went with my counselor. One day, I was tired of everything. I remember he even saw me as I grew up. He started telling me, you know what? You could do something in your life. I believe in you. There was no one in my life. I mean, my parents, yeah, but there was the only that person, my counselor, one who told me, you know what? You could do it. You could do something in your life. You could do something out there. You know the person you are, the people they, they assume they think you are, because the way you look, that they're wrong. You know what, you could do it. Do it for yourself, do it for your family, do it for pretty much everything but for yourself. Never thought I was gonna graduate. I mean, I wasn't gonna graduate. I graduated with two, three Ds, history, English, and math. I remember I applied for Cal State LA, I applied to all the Cal States. I got denied for all of them. But then, this opportunity came and he told me about it. EOP. And EOP was something that I, I got introduced to and I was just, ever since EOP, that was something that I got into and I did the interviews and it changed my life. But before that happening, I got introduced to God and God was the person that helped me. God was the one who gave me the hope. I always thinking to myself, I have hope. I could do something in life. I, could, I have faith. Something, faith is something that you have to, must have to believe and you must know it. It was something that it changed my life. Ever since then, I got into EOP ever since then. I've been here in the school. Ever since, who would have thought that in high school I never read a book? Only this book called Always Running by Luis Rodriguez, which is kind of gang stuff. But who would have thought that I would have been here? It's already my fourth year. And I'm almost going to graduate. And I'm going to do something still about it. And I'm still standing. Thank you.